In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can create your very own Twitch emotes, just like these, that are super customizable and you can use for your own live stream. Now we're going to be using a tool today called Canva. I've already done an overview of this, so if you've never heard of Canva, if you've never used it before, be sure to check out my previous video first. I'm going to leave a link to it up here and also down in the description. At the end of the video, there will also be a playlist linking all of the tutorials that I've made on Canva. So you can take a look there and pick and choose which ones you want to view, as we can use this far more than just emotes. So we're going to hop straight into Canva and take a look. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to come to the search box within Canva and we're going to type in Twitch emotes. We're going to go with our trusty sci-fi space dog emotes because they're super cute. And if you like these as they are, you can literally just go ahead, choose download at the top, export as a PNG, and you're good to go. However, in today's tutorial, we are going to go into more detail about how you can customize these and make them fit your stream branding a little bit better. Now, let's just say that, for example, we don't want this blue color. So we can click on the image here and look what happens. We get a palette up at the top, which shows all of the colors that have been used in this emote. The main color there is that blue. If I take this and change it to the purple that's from my branding, it has changed the whole thing for me. So that immediately looks customized and would fit in with all of my existing branding. But notice below the others haven't changed. So Canva's really clever in that it's given a quick fix for this. Down at the bottom here, we have change all, and then we can change everywhere where that blue appears to actually be the purple. So if I do change all, that's now reflected in all of the emotes in this pack. So I actually like how it looks like this, but to really make it blend in with my branding, I'm going to make it an alien dog. And to do that, I'm going to select the, the skin tone one there, and I'm going to change that color to the branding color of mine that is in blue. Again, if you want to use a specific color, what you can do instead is choose this add new color and you can literally pick from anywhere on here. You can also use this color picker here so you can literally grab this and pick a specific color from the screen. I want to make it blue. So there's my blue space dog. And we want to change all of them. If I do change all, that's now applied it to absolutely every single one. So it might be that you want to customize this just a little bit more. So let's find this one, for example. We could say, do you know what? That's just not enough hearts. So let's come into this elements area at the side and we're going to search for hearts. But let's say we want to take that a bit further. So I'm going to leave the word heart in there, but I'm also going to put balloon. You'll notice there's also animations here that you can use. There is going to be a follow up video which covers how to make animated emotes using Canva. So if that's something you would like to see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around because that will be coming soon in the series. So for today, I'm going to grab this one. Now Canva works in layers, a little bit like if you used Photoshop. So what we can do with this, if we want to twist it round, we can use this little button at the bottom over here. And then what we can do, right click on here and we can send backward or we can send to the back. Now the difference there is backward is going to take you just one layer at a time back. Sending to the back will jump it all the way to the bottom of the layer. So if you've got lots of stuff there, just be aware that's what that's going to do. So in this case, let's just send that backwards. That actually looks pretty cool showing through the front there. Now, as a quick tip, once you start building up lots of layers here, you may accidentally grab the wrong area. So what you can do is click on the image so you can see the hearts are highlighted there and come up to this top area here and choose lock. That's going to stop me moving it and it's going to allow me to grab this one on top more easy. If I want to then be able to move it again, just click and choose the unlock button. So there's extra things that we can do with these images. If we select the image and choose edit image up here at the top, you get a ton of filters. Now, one of the main reasons to consider getting the pro version is because there is a background remover, which is amazing. So you can look for lots of different effects that we can apply. So if you start typing in shadow, it will bring you these items here. So these are all classed as different types of shadows. If you're using the mobile app, you might need to download each of these as a pack, but they are all free. So in this case, what I want to do is I could use either the glow or the drop. Let me try the glow. But can you see if we hover over, we get what looks like some little menu sliders. If I click on this, this opens up the ability to then edit this and change the color. I want to make this quite big. What I'm trying to do is I want to match this outline to this blue outline here. So it looks a little bit more like it actually is part of the emote. We want to take the transparency all the way up and we're going to just change the color from black and I can literally grab that 
color so it all ties in and it all matches i'm just going to change one more and let's use this one here so let's add the word raid into here what i'm going to do move this down a little bit i'm going to twist the whole thing around and i'm going to add the word raid up to the top there is the text option but you can actually go into the elements and search for the word that you're looking for there may well be something in here that's kind of a cool text that you already like and we could drag that up so i'm just going to do a little bit of tweaking there get it exactly how i like it again i'm just going to change the colors within here so that it matches a little bit better if i use this color picker it might be good to use that so it matches that looks cool the last thing i want to change is that blue in there so let's grab that picker now something that canva does that's really cool is that when you're using the various elements over here on the left when you click one it will actually recommend others that are similar so if we click see all in here it's giving us a ton of different things that we can use so we can look through and find all of these different fonts and styles so you can really really make them stand out so this one down here i'm thinking he looks like he's kind of saying wow so we're gonna go and click on text there is loads and loads and loads of text examples that are really fun you can just have normal headings where you choose your own fonts and so on but i think that one of the best things about this is being able to use all of these cool templates so just like magic there is one here where it says wow already look at that oh my days i love it already so the text works a little bit different with how you change the color so you can see up here text color it's just showing that yellow outline so if i click on this and i go to change it to that dark purple and that does look better but i still want to be able to change that pink so we come up here to effect and within here we can actually change the main color that we want now it might be that you actually want to play around with some of these different styles now that you've got your colors right because they might look a little bit better so for example we could do it like this with a shadow or we could do it with a bit of a glow neon in there glitch is super cool you can also make it so that it's curved tons of stuff to play around with but something that you do want to keep in mind when you're doing this is think how this is going to look when it's small so try and keep it maybe a little bit more simple with each of these different styles you can also tweak them a little bit at the bottom like changing the offset and the direction and so on so let's say that actually this one i really really like it and i just want to use that same design but i just want to change the wording the really quick tip that you can use use the duplicate page here if i click this it's created an exact copy now i can just go in here and i can do that one as my hyper mode now once you're happy and you feel ready to download them all you have to do is come up to the top and it says download you can't miss it so if we drop in here, you do want to change it in here so that it is a PNG. Now you'll notice that the size of these is actually pretty big in this instance. I tend to upscale these so that when Twitch shrinks them down, they look nice and crispy. The way I did that is that I can just come in here and choose my custom size. If I want to just make these the actual upload size, I can come in here and pop them in. Maybe you don't have the auto resize function in Twitch when you go to upload your remote. So you may need to do these in different sizes. The resizing is a pro feature. So if you don't have the pro version or maybe your trial has expired, I'll leave a link down in the description for some online tools that will allow you to quickly resize your remotes so that you can upload them in the correct size. If I do copy and resize, when I come now to change them to PNG, you can see the size is as it should be for Twitch. I can go ahead and choose transparent background. That's going to take away all of that white background for me automatically. However, again, if you don't have that option because you're not using the pro version, we can come to this background here, just making sure we've got not the image, we've got the background. And we can tell because it's just white up here at the top. There's no other colors there. So if we click that, let's just make this bright green, like the greenest green that you can imagine. And we're going to choose that to change all because what we want to do is use another free software that will allow us to green screen these and remove that green background in our remote so that we get some nice transparency on Twitch. So back to our download, use the PNG. I'm going to leave the transparent background off because I showed you how that worked in the first video. Let me take you through how to do it with this green screen. As before, I'm going to take all of them, but just not that first page and choose done. And there we can see all of our remotes ready to go. I actually really like how they look. I could be tempted to use them. <laughs> so to finish these off and remove that green background, we're going to come to a site called Remove BG. And the link will be in the description. And within here, you can just upload your images and it will automatically remove this background so let's just do upload image 
Let's do the wow one. Give it a sec. And you can see what's happened there is it's missed a little bit of the green in there. So we can go in and we can edit and we can choose our erase restore. And if you need to make any little touch ups, you can do so within here and get rid of whatever you need. Now, I do want to just show you another example. You can also use the tools to make the emotes that are of yourself so that's also really popular to have your own face on your emotes so you could go away take some pictures pull some faces do some face palms all that kind of stuff and then you can import them into here and make them into emotes now if you have the pro version you can also remove the background so i'm going to show you an example of that very very quickly over on here you can see there is uploads i'm going to use probably the worst picture of me that exists that somebody clipped of me on my stream and we're going to choose this option edit image and what we're going to use is this background remover this tool alone is why i think canva is worth the paid option look how good that was i've done nothing to it and it immediately clipped it perfectly now if for any reason this wasn't perfect we can actually use these options the restore and erase so if we click on erase it gives us a brush we can change the size of that brush and you can see i can just remove half my face there and i can also restore so i can paint that back in i didn't want to do that so i'm just just going to cancel out for those changes there so i'm going to use the text tool again here this one this is a really nice kind of chunky text that we can use but i don't want it to say play i want it to say fail i'm actually going to space it out like this so let's drag this one over here put a twist on there a little bit if i wanted to and i'm just going to leave that as default because we've already been through changing text but if i click on my image again I can click on edit image and I can apply all of those filters that we saw earlier to this image as well. So if you do want kind of like a, a black or a white kind of glow outline on there or a thick line around, you could add that. But one that I like here is if you wanted to maybe rainbow fi all of your emotes, that's a really quick way to do it just within here. As another quick tip up here, you do have various adjustments. By default, it shows brightness, contrast and saturation. If you expand to see all, there is tons of stuff that you can change on here. So for example, I could take Take the saturation down we're just going to rename the actual file so you can see here it's still got the original file name i'm just going to rename that and i'm going to go ahead and download these so here's the example of what they would look like with the transparency done through pro and here's what they would look like if we have the green screen on there in a future video we're going to be looking at how you can add animated emotes we've got to make use of that so you get five slots to have animated emotes even more if you're a partner and this allows you to animate them really really easily so if you do want to see that video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this check out this video here i will also put the full canva for streamers playlist down here so that you can take a look and pick and choose which items you want to learn about next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one